Welcome to The Basic Filmmaker. In this episode, we remove this green stuff behind me in record time. I've had a ton of questions on how to pull this green stuff behind me and replace it with something else. I'm not going to go into setting up the screen and lighting, that will be in another episode. In this episode, we're going to pull the actor out, that's me, and put him, me, on another background. But we're going to do it really, really fast in After Effects, but this should apply to most editors. Ready? Let's go over to the editing world. You coming? Okay, here we are in the editing booth. Uh, we're looking at the screen. What we're going to try to do is we're going to take this, we're going to flip it over to this. See all the colors match? Looks like I'm kind of really in the thing. So over here we have all this stuff. You're not going to be concerned with a lot of this. A lot of us normal. We're going to be setting a few things. The files that we're going to need are basically two files. We have the movie and we have the background. Let's take a look at them. That's the background, just something pulled off of uh, Google. This is the intro mode. There I am, talking, moving my mouth, doing things. So, first thing we're going to do is create new composition. There I am, moving again. My mouth is moving. And we're going to go through this pretty fast. Here we go. Effect, not layer. Just kidding. We're going to do solid. Now there's purple. The reason why we use that is because it's far from green as possible, and you'll see why that's important in a moment. So we add a solid. Next we're going to add a key. Color key. Crappiest color keying ever. Click over here, you get crap. Set it to 50. Pulls out much of the green. It's not all pulled out, so don't set it more than 50. So let's add another one. Color key. Grab the next part of the green. Set it to 50. It's not all gone. Grab another one, keying, color key. Now this one you're going to just adjust a little bit until it just gets rid of the remaining green that's sitting up there. Just like that. Now we got it. Next thing we're going to add is we're going to add a mat. Simple choker, usually used on the plus, we're going to minus it. What it does is it adds just a tiny bit around me and it moves with it. Problem is, you can sometimes try and pull a full green screen, it doesn't work. We're going to pull it with key light and just this tiny bit of green. Click on the green, looks pretty good. One of the keys to doing this is down here in the screen map. First go to combine map. See this white stuff? You're going to get rid of that. The way you're going to get rid of that is you're going to come down to the clip white and you're going to change it. Watch this, tiny gradient. It's gone, we're done. Now you have this black stuff. See it around the left? Pull that out. We're done. Okay, let's go back to the final result. Looks better. Everything's cleaned up. What we want to do is we want to soften edges and do things like that to make it look good. Set it to negative 1.2 in this case. It's going to pull things back. Alright, let's go back to the project. Let's put our background in between. There's our background. Size it up. Now let's mess around with it until we get something that looks a little bit like I'm in there. That'll work. Back to the movie. Let's go back to the effect. As I said, you can mess around with this screen shrink and grow. I like 1.2. I'm going to soften the edges up a bit. Set it to 2.0. Looks pretty good point you're going to have to deal with color correction. This is perfect time. We're going to go down and we're going to pick our levels. Notice this over here, there's nothing in there. We're going to pull that down. It's going to lighten it up a bit. We don't need that color. And then we're going to move this around, add a little bit of red to the skin. What you're trying to do is fit me into this area. Next thing, we're going to add a curves effect. We're just going to move this down so the blacks pop a little bit. Right about there. I'm going to take the red. I want to add just a bit more red to me so it looks like I have had some sun, which I haven't. That's pretty much it. There I am talking. It looks good. Now you'll notice 
I'm gonna render this here. And as you render it, I want you to notice that there's no green spillage or strange things happening that's really detectable. And with the lights and everything, it looks like I'm pretty much there. But when you get really proficient at this, done it three, four, or five times, you'll be able to do this in about three minutes. I hope this helps. In later episodes, I'll be covering everything about cameras, lenses, lighting, scripts, sound, editing makeup, some DIY projects you've never seen before, answers to your submitted questions, and some great filmmaking secrets that you should definitely know. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I love doing that because it drives my brother crazy. So contact me, thebasicfilmmaker at gmail.com, thebasicfilmmaker on Facebook, basicfilmmaker on Twitter, or visit thebasicfilmmaker.com. See you next time. Forgot to tell you, next time we're going to be building this thing, which is pure awesomeness. Know what it is? Forgot to tell you. Looking at the wrong screen. I forgot to mention this. Next time we're going to be building... I forgot to tell you. Next time we're gonna build build. I forgot to tell you. Next time we're gonna build building this.